Sunday in London I have not moved the time is about 9 p.m. and my plan for the morning is to have a solo trip to Brick Lane reason one because I love having days on my own I think everybody should enjoy that because it's such a peaceful thing to do reason two is because I feel like perusing in shops and trying to find some cool clothes. There are loads of things that I do still have on my list that I would love to get. I think priority would be a new motorbike leather type jacket because I sold mine recently just because I felt like I was wearing it all the time. So I'm gonna try and find something else that's similar. I bought one on Vinted, if you saw my Vinted haul. I did buy one, I just don't love it enough. So I have put it on Vinted to just see if it sells. If it does, that's a sign. If not, I will keep it. I would also love some lace tops, some cute cami tops and skirts. I feel like that is definitely my priority. So to find some sort of a maxi skirt, that could be denim or just like some sort of kind of cotton one, but just something that's really long because I'm enjoying that vibe. And I don't really have any. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go to all the different kind of vintage shops that are along Brick Lane. I'll try to find some charity shops too. And then I'm also just gonna see, I'm hoping that the good market stall is open because it's Sunday, that's why I'm going today. So yeah, I'll um, bring you guys along. I hope that this will be a fun video. I'm gonna do it kind of vlog style like I used to do with my Living in London vlogs. So. It's, it's an element that I kind of miss of my channel, so I'm gonna try and incorporate both. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Let's get going. In case you couldn't see clearly on the last shot, this is my outfit. I'm wearing pajama pants and I support that. Shoe of choice is a Doc Martin, which again, I think is a fun option to wear with the trousers. I'm wearing a little kind of cami top underneath and then a black jumper that costs like two pounds and then a trench which normally is like a winter trench but you can take out the lining inside so I've taken it out because I feel like I'll be warm and my hair is in a plait. Now let's go.
A successful trip. I can't even deal. I'm quite warm now. I'm gonna have to take my jumper off. But I'm gonna show you what we got. I didn't try anything on, so that's obviously a risk in itself, but I'm hopeful. So I don't know if you would have heard me talk about this on my channel before, but so in Brick Lane they have a stall every Sunday and it's basically a lingerie stall. Um, it's this man, his wife like hand makes a lot of it and it's gorgeous but I got three pieces, they had a deal three for 25 and it's crazy, they have so much lace and obviously lace is in right now, lace is the cool thing so if you are looking for lace, you're struggling to find it on Vinted or Depop check this stall out if you are in London but I got this, it is so cute so cute it's obviously a little cropped up so I was like maybe it could be a little bit too cropped but also with a lace skirt like a low-waisted lace skirt I thought that would be adorable and it's such good quality so each piece is 10 pounds but there's a deal three for 25 if you get three so that's what I did and the second one that I got was this one again I really liked the color of it I thought it was really pretty longer and a bit more loose just gorgeous and it's just so light and silky I think this is gonna be so nice for summer amazing they had so much choice so it was so hard to choose but they actually also had loads of skirts so little lace kind of mini skirts but because there was no way for me to try anything on and I was on my own I was like oh, I don't really want to risk getting a skirt and then not liking it but yeah if you are looking for one that they've got loads there I think this is my favourite piece. I have fallen in love with this one. It's honestly gorgeous. The frilly detail for the shoulders is amazing, but it basically ties here, so it's kind of like an open stomach. I think this is gonna be so cool. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear this, honestly. I cannot wait. I think this is gorgeous. This is definitely the key find of today's thrifting. All of those three for 25 which I don't think is that bad. Then I went to my favorite stall, which hasn't been open for weeks, but I was chatting to the person that owns it. Apparently they only open if the weather is good and that's every Sunday. So again, more information for you if you need it. They had so many leather jackets, honestly, so many jackets that I wanted to get, but it's obviously near the end of the month. Money's a little bit tight. So I'm gonna wait until I get paid and then I'm gonna go back and get a good jacket, but they have so many nice options. However, I did get two things. I got this denim jacket. It looks crap from there, but the color of it is kind of like a slightly greeny wash, which is something that I'm really trying to buy more of. I obviously didn't try this on. It says XL, but it's really small. So I'm curious, let's give this a little cute this is adorable I could wear this with no top underneath and just like a bra and boots so I love that one that was six pounds I really like it they've got such good options in that shop and then I got this little top as well a very random option from me um I don't know if you can see it properly because it's black but it's like a short sleeve kind of like denim top i would say like it's really thick material i love the shoulders because they're kind of puffy and it's not really long as well so i feel like it could be really nice with like low-waisted trousers you've got a little bit of stomach out but i thought this would be quite cute for work you know i saw the vision 
obviously didn't try it on but i think this is adorable and that was six pounds so another fantastic find from me only two more items to show you but i didn't even really think i'd buy anything so i'm quite impressed with myself it's like a long denim again but it's really lightweight kind of like top but i thought this would be so nice just kind of like one or two buttons done some like tight jeans and a heeled boot no i can't this was five five pounds i don't know where it's from but it's a size eight i got this at the first stall that i went to so just when you're walking down brick lane that kind of side street it's the first one that you see and the guys there are actually all really really nice they're really funny as well so i haggled the price a little bit and i also went back at the end of my trip because they added more trousers now this is a really rogue shout from me because i think they're like a 40 waist and the like the legs look really like rickety <laughs> so i don't know if i can kind of fix them i may need to i don't know sort them out somehow but a really green wash jean <gasps> i've wanted a pair for so long so i really don't know how they're gonna fit at all i don't know if you can see what i mean but like the legs are like bent <laughs> Um, but they were only £10, they were going to be 15 but he was really nice and he gave them to me for 10 um, And they're from Zara, but they look so old. Yeah, so we'll see. I may just have to get these tailored somehow, but I'm really hopeful that I can make them work because I've really wanted jeans like this for some time. That's all I got. And I feel like that's way more than I would have expected. I also got a cookie from Oat. It's a salted chocolate one or something. It feels really gooey and perfect. So I'm saving that for later because, sad story, I'm going to the dentist in 40 minutes to get fillings. So that's fun. So I'm probably gonna be really sad later, but I'm glad that I've been productive and I filmed and I bought some items that I'm obsessed with. I'll probably do a try on haul in my next video because I just don't really want to do it now. I feel like you've got enough. But I hope that you enjoyed watching. I had such a nice day. I honestly can't recommend enough just having a day alone and just browsing. Do whatever it is your favorite thing to do, but I think my favorite thing to do is to definitely go to shops and stalls and just shop on my own and just browse, get a coffee, get a snack, sit down and just be in my own thoughts. So if you haven't done that in a while, this is your reminder to go and do that for yourself because it's so rewarding and so lovely. So yeah, that's it from me. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you also had a lovely Sunday or whatever day this is that you're watching this. And we'll see you in a few days. Much love.